Hello and welcome. Here we are. Day three and Ceci joined me so I feel very blessed this morning. And we are on Heart Saint Ascension journey. We have our seven days that are leading us into the Lion's Gate in case you're just tuning in now. And today we have a very interesting topic. Today we are talking about transcending with horse. Transcending means to be or go beyond a range of ideas or concepts, so many limitations that we are uh, holding in our life, about um, go beyond uh, our horizons, our understanding. Even Shakespeare took up that word of transcending and he talks actually about transcending the doubts. So this is very interesting. Doubt is something that, like everything else that holds, it's heavy. It's like an anchor that doesn't let us move forward, that doesn't let us transcend. And we are so accustomed to live like that. We are domesticated, living in patterns, living in boxes. That is so normal to live like that to believe that, or make us believe ourselves that we can do things, that we can go beyond, we can break our paradigms. Yeah, breaking paradigms is also a nice connection to transcending. And yes, we all have traumas. Yes, life is not easy and we didn't come here mm -hmm. to just flow, but we came here to learn to flow, to transcend what holds us down and also what holds us back. So what really holds us back is emotions that are heavy, all related to energy. Mm -hmm. Karma, you could spend your lifetime clearing karma and yet maybe you're still not transcending. Yeah, because some people believe that, that they are in this life to, to burn karma and this is all that they need to, to live in this life because maybe the next life they will come back and enjoy a different kind of life. But I guess you can beyond, go beyond that. You can burn your karma and just, just you can change the course of your life. So it's a shift in a way, if you wish, in energy, taking that anchor, that heaviness out, that heavy backpacks and boxes yeah. that we are carrying around. It's up to you. And Ceci also has experience. For me, it was always climbing trees from a very young boy because I wanted to see beyond. I felt heavy on the ground. That has changed. I, I find it very interesting and liberating now to actually recognize, realize and transcend. The heaviness doesn't really take us anywhere. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean that we are not compassionate. Doesn't mean that we don't understand life is not always easy. But it means that maybe one of our biggest powers is to transcend what holds. Yeah, maybe I, I, I had in mind something, but I guess just I share what came to me now is, is transcend the, the good girl, you know? It's like uh, you learn to be a good girl, to behave so well, to, to please everybody around you to be accepted, to be, to be just a good person. But our life goes beyond that. Our life is, you need to live your life. You need to live what makes your, your heart sing, to make you feel alive, to everything that you do, that you feel, that you share, is to be, needs to have this kind of energy and this love that goes from your heart to, to outside and to share. And even more now that we're living in a time of ascension, evolution, extinction, whatever you want to call it, this is really a life where transcending what holds is absolutely crucial. The first step it takes is always you. Mm -hmm. So we pulled some cards before and we asked the unicorns and the dragons to help us today. And what did Ceci pick? Okay, <laughs> I, I picked help. So we asked for some guidance from the magical unicorns and what I got was help. 
Let's see if I can share. They are beautiful cards. By Diana Cooper. Mm -hmm. They've been with me for a long time and Ceci loves them just as much. Yes. <laughs> and it said, the help you need is on its way. So keep waiting for it. So it's making that choice. We didn't make it up. We just picked cards. Yeah. Making that choice that you transcend whatever is there for you to transcend. Yes, some things can be very conscious. Some things can be very heavy on your back. Something can hold you very tight in a box. But some things could also be unconscious. In the shamanic world, when we do any kind of ceremony, we also always ask for the unspoken prayers, for the forgotten mm -hmm. prayers. So this is here the unconscious. But the choice, what choice are you making today? What can you transcend that holds you? In whatever way mm -hmm. and we have a second card from Ceci we got Pegasus one of my magical animals spirit animals and Pegasus today tell us open your heart to love and joy and has a lot to do what I was sharing no? is is just do what what you love do what made you happy, what made you smile, what made you feel alive, and you will see how you transcend your life. And you'll be surprised how others perceive you. Don't worry, they may not judge you. And if they judge you, then forgive them. Because they have the sight that they have. Not everybody has the ability to see beyond. So the last beautiful unicorn that came is the divine sight see the divine in everyone so this goes again with opening the heart and pegasus and all the other beautiful things so we're inviting you now into a space there's a lot of stories of course about the unicorns that they came from atlantis they decided to stay in a fifth dimension or a bit higher to support us dragons all similar stories they are all here to help us. They're in the symbolic realms. For most of us, the unseen. However, some people have real experiences with unicorns or dragons. I'm blessed and Ceci is too. So we're inviting you into their space. And let's start first by breathing into the heart. Would you like to lead us on that? Okay, let's connect with, with our heart and just relax. And we will have uh, an exercise of the breathing, like uh, we breathe and we count in our mind up to six. So we inhale up to six. We hold for two or three seconds. Try to feel your heart. And then you exhale for your mouth, through your mouth, very slow, up to eight if you can. Like a, you are like a balloon that is you are losing the air. And relax. Inhale again, up to six. Hold. Feel your heart and release feel how your body is relaxing one more inhale hold it and release now that you are more relaxed you are more connected to your heart. Just let the music take you to this short journey, to the harmonies, to transcend what holds you. So just allow yourself to be here in that presence. Going into another dimension 
is just being here. Take your backpacks, take your boxes that are holding, holding you and you are ready to transcend today with the unicorns and the dragons. Just imagine you're bringing it all there. There might be air dragons who just blow it all away and transmute it into sound and love. You might want to bring it to the fire dragons who set it on fire. You might want to bring it to the earth dragons that use it as fertilizer for new beginnings. Or you may connect to the water dragons who invite you to bring all what holds you to transcend in the waters, to clear it through the flow And then allow maybe your own unicorn to come to you. Connect with it, connect with its beautiful horn. And allow yourself to be light. You may even feel like you want to hop on and ride. this bliss state, in this presence, in this flow, noticing the work of the air or water dragons, the fire or earth dragons, and you become lighter and lighter transcending
feel the love, the gratitude. Enjoy how the dragons release and transcend what you are ready to transcend. slowly the unicorn brings you back where you started you say thank you to your dragon whether it was your water dragon or your fire dragon your earth dragon or your air dragon just go and say thank you Take this lightness with you. And then slowly bring your consciousness back, feeling lighter and fresher. Knowing that you are being held Knowing your heart is open, knowing it is your choice. So you can see the divine in everything and everyone. here and now. And when you're ready, just open your eyes and smile. How are you feeling? What were you able to transcend? were you able to give to your dragon? How was your unicorn flight? Very honored to have you here today and of course you can listen to this whenever you feel like it. We wish we connect with your heart and you could be John, go be John that everything that holds you and just you can leave it in that backpack and just throw it to the fire or let the unicorns take it and change the energy so have a blessed day we'll see you back tomorrow namaste namaste